Mr. Beagley. Hey there guys and gals, it's Gur Beagley with another vlog and I have some explaining to do. For those of you guys who follow my channel regularly, you know that I haven't been posting recently. In fact, it's been almost an entire week and I fucking hate that. Like, I hate that so much. It drives me insane because if those of you guys who've been following me know that I love making YouTube videos. Like, it's my number one passion. I have dedicated over four years of my life to this channel where I've uploaded almost every single day. And anytime I have to even miss one day of uploading, it kills me inside. And that's no fault of your guys's either. It's never like you guys pressure me to make more videos. Like, oh, where's the next upload, man? You guys are actually always really supportive and you're like, hey, we know that there's a lot of shit going on in your life right now. So don't worry about it. Take care of that and then get back to videos. It's more of like an internal thing. Like when I'm not able to create, I get really, really like bent out of shape about it. Like I love YouTube, I love making videos, I love putting up content. And the fact that I haven't been able to lately because of like all the things going on in my life has been a little bit just, I don't know, it's been demoralizing and I really hate that so, so much. And I just wanted to apologize for that. I, I don't mean to get negative over on Twitter. I know that I've said like a couple things where I'm just like, yeah, I seem really down. And a lot of you guys have noticed that or you know, I, I just get down on myself, things things along those lines. I'm very sorry for that. I don't mean to be like that. It's just, like I said, like not uploading for like a week straight has been hell for me. It, like it drives me crazy. And I think this is probably the longest I've gone without uploading a video since like the channel got onto like some sort of like daily upload schedule. And that drives me nuts. I really, really hate that. So I'm gonna do better. I'm gonna try my best. This isn't supposed to be like an apology video or like me making excuses, but there has been a lot going on in my life. And I, I think I owe you guys an explanation. Uh, obviously, I got back from PopCon uh, a few weeks ago. That was really awesome. Uh, I went to Indie PopCon. I got to meet like hundreds of you, as I, I said in my other video. I got to I uh, get like a bajillion fan gifts, which I will be doing a fan gift video sometime very soon, guys. I'm so sorry that you've had to wait, but I promise I'll do a fan gift unboxing video on the channel soon, and you guys will be able to see that. That will be awesome. Uh, you guys were just so generous. It was incredible how much you gave and how much you cared, and I like. I just really want to say I appreciate that so much. But uh, also, like, just so many things are going on um, around the same time. Obviously, I got my new PC that is now together and operating. Those of you guys who joined me for my Ori and the Blind Forest uh, live stream here on YouTube, thank you for that. But you got to see the PC in action. Uh, by the way, I will be doing more of those live streams uh, over on YouTube on a semi-consistent basis. It's not going to be, like, all the time like my Twitch streams are, but it's going to be fairly regularly just because I really like gaming. I, I love gaming and I'd love to put up some more Ori and other games that like I don't feel would be a great fit for the channel on a live stream. Uh, so hopefully you guys will join me for those. Obviously I wanna get back to playing more Dream Daddy, Oxenfree, Night in the Woods. Like I need to bring back Oxenfree and Night in the Woods so badly. Now that I have a PC that's gonna run them smoothly, I can't wait to bring those back on the channel. Uh, I think it's just going to be really fun to dive into those adventure games. Things that I started falling in love with playing them on my old computer and now I know are going to be like infinitely better on this new computer. And I hope that you guys will join me for that content and keep supporting that type of stuff because alongside my normal like visual novels and dating sims, I will be playing a ton of like different games now that I have a PC that can run it. So I'm very, very excited. But uh, yeah, I mean, speaking of the new PC, I'm still getting used to the quirks of the new PC. I'm still getting used to this new office that I have. Uh, my voice actually probably sounds a little bit reverby right now because I am in my new office. I have a new desk. Uh, I'm using a new mic. Actually, it's not even a new mic. I've had this AT2020 for like literally years and I didn't <laughs> like my old PC wasn't powerful enough to utilize it. So now I'm able to use it and I'm really excited to use it, but I'm working out some quirks. Uh, I obviously don't have my acoustic foam up on the walls yet, so my voice is like bouncing all over the place. And I apologize for that. I'll do my best to doctor the audio a little bit. But uh, yeah, the acoustic foam will be arriving soon. I'm just gonna plaster all my walls with it. So I'll get that generic YouTuber feel going. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that will be really cool to do that. And then, like I said, I'm getting used to 
like the computer and the different programs that I'm using as well. For over four years, I was using uh, Sony Vegas Pro to edit all of my videos. And now I'm using like Adobe Premiere, Adobe Audition, Photoshop, things that I've never really utilized in the past. So uh, bear with me, <laughs> content's gonna be a little bit slow as I get used to that stuff. On top of that, speaking of editing programs, I am now officially my good friend Matt Shea's editor. You guys have probably seen that he's now my boss. He's a really good guy, he's awesome. He's the best boss I've ever had. Don't tell him that. Um, but <laughs> And if you guys wanna check out his content, by the way, he, he makes really great videos. If you like what I do, you'll love what Matt does. Um, I'll put his link down below in my description. But yeah, it's been really cool working with him, um, mainly because he's just one of my best friends that I've made through YouTube. And uh, actually in a week, I'll be going to Newfoundland. I'll be going to Newfoundland to visit him and his wife, Ashley. And I think we're meeting up with our friend, Captain Sauce, while I'm there as well, which is gonna just be a great time. But I'm really excited for that. It's gonna be like a business trip type thing where we talk about like, you know, my job as his editor and make some videos together and stuff like that. But also just gonna be like a lot of fun. Uh, I've never been out to Newfoundland before. It's like pretty far away. It's gonna be a really long journey. Um, and it's just like piling on, like there's like a lot of trips that are coming up. I'm gonna be going to PAX West in less than a month as well. That's in Seattle. So hopefully I'll meet some of you guys there. I'm really looking forward to that as well. But uh, just like with this schedule right now, it's been super packed. On top of that, just being able to record in this office has been a blessing and a curse. It's a blessing because this is like pretty much an airtight room. Uh, like I can close my windows, my door has like a really strong seal on it, and it's hard to hear noises outside of it when I'm recording, which is really great. I love that about this room. Unfortunately, it means it also traps heat in it, and I've been like overheating because it's summer. It gets super fucking hot here, especially with the lights and everything like that. I'm still getting the lighting setup figured out as well. This is not gonna be my default lighting setup, but yeah, because of that, like it, there's been a couple days, it's literally been too hot to record. And I'm so sorry that I've skipped out on that. Like I've tried to do live streams with like the windows open and the door open, but I can't do that during a video because then obviously with the windows open, you get the outside sounds coming in uh, during a recording and I, I don't want to have that happen. So it's just been a little bit chaotic. Morgan and I obviously are still unpacking our new home and, and doing all that stuff. So it's just been, it's, it's a lot. There's a lot on my plate. And like I said, I don't want this to sound like this is a bunch of excuses. I know it's going to, to some people, they're going to take it out of context and be like, oh, well, he's just being fucking lazy or whatever. But I've actually sort of shifted my priorities a bit. Like I wanna make sure that I'm editing Matt's videos to the best of my ability, not just because he's my boss, but because he's my friend. I don't want my friend's quality of content to dip. So that's been taking up a lot of time to edit his videos. And then obviously I haven't had as much time to get around to doing my own videos with like my regular live streams on Twitch. Um, speaking of, I might like sort of cut down on those a little bit. I know that's a disappointment to some people they are used to me streaming almost every night, but with me trying to get back to two video uploads a day, editing Matt's videos and trying to do live streams and occasionally fitting in gaming live streams on top of that, as well as all the in real life uh, responsibilities that I have, like, I don't want to overburden myself. Um, I wanna give back as much as I can to you guys, but I also don't wanna burn myself out and then not be able to give back anything at all. So uh, I might work out like maybe like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Monday, Wednesday, Saturday type thing with the Twitch live streams. We'll see, I, I don't have anything set in stone yet. It's something that I just have to ponder and figure out as I go through this entire process, but uh, the fact that you guys have been so patient and so encouraging and so kind during this entire thing, like a lot of you already know this stuff because of Twitter and Twitch and things like that where I've mentioned it before, but the fact that you guys have been so kind, you've been so supportive as I've been going through this transitional time in my life, it, it just means the world. It really does. I can't believe how lucky I am to have this community. I say this every time I do a stream, but like, I don't say it enough here on YouTube and I wanna let you guys know that I appreciate everything. Even if you've only watched one video on this channel and this is the video, or if you have been here for all four years that I've been on YouTube supporting me the whole time, like regardless if you're new or old on the channel, your support has meant the world to me. And I really appreciate that you guys under, like understand me. You're not just, like I said, like, oh God, he's just making excuses. What a stupid fucking vlog, dislike. Like, you know, a lot of you guys are, 
are really supportive and really kind and you understand that there's like extenuating circumstances going on. And like I said, I don't want that to be my excuse. I don't want to use that as a crutch ever, but I did feel like I at least owed you an apology and uh, an explanation because it has been so long since I've uploaded consistently. And it's gonna be bumpy, I won't lie. It's gonna be bumpy for like at least a couple more weeks, um, but I'm gonna do my best to get up at least some gameplay videos very, very soon here and some more vlogs, things like that. Vlogs where I talk about not just this depressing crap that I'm talking about right now. But uh, yeah, uh, that's gonna be it for this one, guys. I don't really have too much else to update you on. You guys have been sending me some awesome fan art. People have been buying a lot of merch, which is weird. I haven't like promoted the merch store in a long time. And the fact that you guys have been like coming out of the woodwork recently to buy my, my merchandise is very cool. Thank you for supporting and representing the community. That's really, really awesome. Uh, and yeah, like I said, I, I have a bunch of big plans coming up in the future, a lot of opportunities. Even though I'm like a little bit stressed out right now and very, very busy, uh, life is moving in the right direction. There's a lot of really good things coming my way and coming our way, the community's way. So I'm excited to share those experiences with you guys. Uh, once again, I hope to meet a bunch of you at PAX West. I'll make a more formal PAX West announcement video sometime in the future here. But in the meantime, I hope that this vlog tides you guys over a little bit. Um, I'm gonna do my best to get like a gaming video up like this Saturday or Sunday, something like that. But we'll see. I can't set anything in stone because things are fucking crazy here on my end. But in the meantime, feel free to keep up with me over on Twitter, catch one of my live streams on Twitch, whatever it may be. Um, but yeah, that's gonna be it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video and favorite it. Also be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you. And as always, it was great seeing ya. Bye-bye.